just finished up at the office and this morning I have seen a number of patients that have dizziness vertigo, specifically cervicogenic dizziness. And the most common question I got from those patients this morning, I thought would be a great video topic. And that question was, is there anything else I can do to help myself heal faster and feel better sooner? For those patients that are suffering from dizziness, vertigo, unbalanced, there are three supplements you should consider if you suffer from any of these conditions. The first supplement I'm gonna talk about is magnesium. Oftentimes, dizziness and vertigo can be exacerbated or it can recur frequently if you're deficient in magnesium. Magnesium is so important for our body. It's involved in well over 300 metabolic processes in our body that allows our body to function, heal, and feel better. So if you're deficient in magnesium, you need to supplement with it. Like all supplements, the type you take is important. The two that have been shown to be very clinically effective and bioavailable, meaning they're absorbed well, is magnesium citrate and magnesium bisglycinate. Now, with magnesium citrate, you need to be careful if you have any digestive upset or weaknesses because it can act as a natural laxative. The dosage of magnesium you want to take on a day-to-day -day basis is between 400 and 800 milligrams per day. You can split this up over the course of a day into two or three doses, and it's best taken with food. Magnesium deficiency can exacerbate or increase the recurrence of vertigo and dizziness. So making sure you're sufficient in magnesium can go a long way in helping you feel more balanced and have less bouts of dizziness or vertigo. As a bonus, it's really helpful if you have dizziness or vertigo associated with any headaches or migraines as well. The second thing we want to make sure we're not deficient in is vitamin D3. Vitamin D3 is essential for health and it has a host of benefits. One thing you should do is to get your blood levels of vitamin D checked. Deficiency in vitamin D has shown to increase the recurrence of vertigo, specifically with BPPV. As well, other forms of dizziness and vertigo show a higher incidence or recurrence if you have deficiency in vitamin D. The best source is obviously the sun. Oftentimes, if we can get 15 to 20 minutes of our face, arms, and legs exposed, it will be enough to raise our levels. But for certain patients, you will have to supplement. The dosage for vitamin D3 is 1,000 IUs per day per 40 pounds or 18 kilograms of body weight. And the goal would be to have your vitamin D levels reach about 50 nanograms per milliliter. Again, you need to get your blood tested to make sure you hit this level. Two important notes, if you're taking vitamin D3 or supplementing with it, you need to make sure you're getting enough vitamin K2. Vitamin K2 and D3 work together synergistically to make sure that calcium is being laid down in the appropriate spots. The dosage for vitamin K2 is between 100 and 200 micrograms per day. And the second thing to consider, if you're supplementing with vitamin D3 and K2, speak to your pharmacist or your doctor, as there can be interactions with certain medications. So magnesium and vitamin D3 and K2, those are really effective if you're deficient. But there is another supplement you should consider that is very useful for general dizziness and vertigo. Whether it's cervical joint dizziness, BPPV, or Meniere's, or another source of dizziness and unbalance that's happening in your brain, the supplement Ginkgo Biloba can be very helpful in your day-to-day -day bouts of dizziness and vertigo. Ginkgo works by improving blood circulation. Basically, it opens up your blood vessels, it makes your blood less sticky, and this can be effective in helping you with your dizziness or vertigo. Ginkgo biloba is also a very strong antioxidant that's very helpful in reducing the free radicals in your body and reducing inflammation, which is also likely why it can help with dizziness and vertigo. The dosage you should consider taking on a day-to-day -day basis is between 120 and 200 milligrams per day. Speak to your doctor or your pharmacist because there are multiple drugs that may have an interaction. It should also be avoided in pregnancy and lactation. After being in practice for 21 years, I understand that it can be tough trying to heal from dizziness, vertigo, or any other condition. Be patient. Healing takes time. There's so many factors that can influence the speed of rates in which you heal, things that you can't control. I hope this video though has given you a couple things that you can try at home to help reduce your symptoms, help you heal better and feel better faster. All these videos come from both my patients in clinical practice and viewers like you. So if you have an idea for a future video, please leave it in the comment below and I'll add it to my list of future videos. Thanks for tuning in. I can't wait to see you in my next video. Until then, stay well.